This is Elton Kane for Finextra at Cybos, and I'm here with Daniel Schmuckler from the EBA. Daniel, in your session today, you referred for the need for banks to enter the services layer. From where does this need arise? Well, over the past decade, um, the interbank industry was uh, busy preparing for SEPA. And um, since the SEPA migration has been successfully um, achieved, a lot has changed at the front end towards the customers. While we as an industry were tied up in, in uh, integration processes, standardization processes, at the infrastructure layer, at the services layer, a whole uh, rift of new value propositions were created, to a large extent by non-banks. So from this point of view, there is a need, uh, in our view, that uh, the banks take a stronger value proposition also in the services layer, in, in the various channels, and also on the various uh, product front ends. Um, I believe this is also justified uh, by stretching the brand that the banks have from their current position into a position that has top of mind at the customer front end. And so the, the digitization of uh, the banking business therefore will have a profound impact on uh, the bank's uh, products and services. You mentioned the impact of the digitization trend. Will this have more impact than just the products and services? I believe so. Um, I believe that it is not good enough to retrofit existing products and services uh, to, uh, to existing uh, channels that we know of today. So uh, taking, taking existing products and services and um, putting them into digital channels would probably not be sufficient uh, from a competitive point of view. I think we need to redesign products to the extent that they are native to the digital channel. And hence, um, when you think about e-commerce, m-commerce transactions, and we have heard it throughout Cybos that growth in these channels are, is, is, is uh, three, four, five times more uh, than in any other payment channel, also because it comes from a lower starting point, but uh, the, 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 the growth potential in these channels over the next years is, is, is quite significant, quite big. I think it's important that the, the, the banks have a significant slice of that cake uh, and that they are positioned in a role where they can play out their strengths, not only in the infrastructure layer, but also to stretch that into the, into the services layer. Daniel, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. And thank you for watching.